what's going on everybody it's dj Mozar here we got 36 new and updated mods to take a look at today for all platforms we got 23 new that's what i'm talking about we also have seven updates and for pc and mac we have six new i make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod from giant so hit subscribe if you're new that way you never miss any your first mod today for all platforms is going to be the man tgx 26 640 platform version very cool to see this this is from farmer 22 and it's going to be 11 slots for you guys on consoles has 640 horsepower automatic transmission 490 liters fuel 49 miles per hour max speed and has a 9.7 ton weight as far as designs go we've got a standard design you throw some grids on the front lights you've got horns horns and grids or back to nothing beacons we got a standard We've got kind of a uh, different setup look here. Looks like they've taken a lot of the different prefab beacons and used those. We've even got some really, really slender LED beacons, which are really cool to see. We also have main colors, some custom ones in here. Not, uh, not your everyday colors. I love this color right here. That's what I'm talking about. So just go through, choose whatever you like. You're good to go. We even have some of those custom colors for the rims as well. A couple popular ones. We do have chrome wheels on here, which is nice. We do have that silverish look uh we've got a flat black i know some of you guys like to have that one as well we've got a little baby blue yes sir uh one thing you're probably not seeing through here look at this is uh, normal colors <laughs> all of the base normal colors are gone but when we do have our custom ones next up we got the robert straw pack this is from universe simu modding there's four pieces of equipment in here we've got a uh, straw blower which it doesn't really say what it can hold, but I think it, everything is a good one. You've got a smaller straw blower. Now, I believe this one goes on your uh, three point. No, what does this go on top of at the top? Do, 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 do. I'm not actually sure what this connects to. Huh? All right. Well, we also have the Evolu Mix 230P. This is going to be a 30,000 liter mixer for you guys. And then we've got a smaller little mixer right there as well. So that is pretty darn cool. As far as slot counts go for the first piece on the left, that's going to be seven. Then we have six slots, eight slots, and then a total of three slots for the last one. But yeah, I can't figure out what this goes on. I'm going to say maybe a uh, front loader wheel loader telehandler something like that we've also got different extensions on here as well so check it out use what you need also from universe simu modding we have the con cargo xk 18 <laughs> trailer this is going to be a total of five slots for you guys on consoles it holds literally everything as you can see right there so you're good to go 23.3 thousand liter capacity or you could bump that up to 27,000 or 32.5. So multiple different options through there, which is nice to see. Trellebork, Michelin, Nakian, Midas, BKT tires. We do have a couple custom versions of them as well. Next up from Matt 26, we have the K-Brand Cetera Pack. These are going to include two seeders right there, not direct drill, but we do have a subsoiler that goes with these as well. Now, we do have four meter subsoilers in the game, so that's not a problem. We have a three meter one here as well. If you guys want to connect that to this, you put the subsoiler in front of this and then put this behind it. Get a little pass through right there for the pto slot counts are going to be five slots for both of the seaters and then i think it was two yeah two slots for the little subsoiler right here no customization they are what they are they hold seed only they're going to hold 780 liters or 1080 liters next we've got the csz implements pack now this is only going to have a few things and actually there's a pc version of this and a console version so we're going to swap over to the xbox just to show this one off so you guys can see it the first one's going to be the adapter this goes from three point to telehandler so that is good to see no customization options through there then we have a cage that's going to be three point cage or front loader telehandler wheel loader cage however you want and for capacities we've got big bags it'll load up two big bags tanks or back and forth between those and that's going to be it through there then we've got a attacher blade right here three point tell handler wheel loader uh or three points so that is good to have and then we have the larger dozer blade so going to be between those three as well as if we're doing silage and things like that now we have one more piece we'll take a look at that this is going to be the mixer. Now, if we see at the top, a purely decorational object. We already have a placeable decoration version of this, but this is going to be one that you can actually get out 
um, use it. You don't need it, but you know, if you want to do a little bit of role playing, this is going to be perfect. Uh, one of these mods was released in 19 as well. I never used it and I kind of gave it some crap to start with, but I understand it now. I, I get it. I get it. Slot counts are going to be one, two, one, one, and two. And again, if you guys are on PC, you don't get the cage that comes along with that, but we'll show that off later. Next, we've got another uh, showcase of a mod that is literally already here. This is going to be a little bit different though. Uh, if you guys haven't seen today's farm some news, definitely check that out because we talked about how giants are allowing mods that are the same or extremely similar. Uh, however, in some situations, the modder of the second one or the lesser of the mods uh, may not make as much money from the revenue from the downloads um, and vice versa. It also has to offer something that the other doesn't. So let's talk about what this offers that the other one doesn't. I do find it a little bit funny that Rolly Christie released this one. Nonetheless, uh, this is going to hold 30 cows, 51 pigs, 51 sheep, or 14 horses. Uh, now, on the other side of things, we've got, instead of 30 cows, the other one that we have, you have 32 cows in there, 60 pigs, 60 sheep, but it doesn't hold horses. This one does. Uh, this one's also going to be a total of four slots for you guys. We'll set up, so you got standard and wide. Main color, will change that to orange. So that's going to be your main color. Design color, will change that up to white. And then rim colors are rim colors no matter where you go. So there you are. That is your second Micheletto AM19 on the Mod Hub. From Agrar Design Austria, we got a new one from them. They've done a really good job at Farm Sim 22, by the way. If you guys are watching, great job of loving what you're putting out. This one right here, this is a windrow. It's already folded up, ready to go. And when you unfold it, everything kind of comes apart and does its thing. It's super cool. You've got a couple different designs at the front for your three point, but that's it. This weighs 8.4, well, 0.84 tons, 45 horsepower is required, 4.8 meters at 11 miles per hour. It's going to be three slots for you guys on console as well. For something small like this, that's such high detail to be only three slots. That's incredible. Getting some Vader stat equipment from Bandy1016. This is going to be the Vader stat carrier XL825 disc harrow. This is going to be six slots for you guys on console and there's no customization. 7.9 tons, 340 horsepower, 8.3 meters at 10 miles per hour. Again, no customization at all. Normally with stuff like this, it is what it is anyway. So if you've been looking for a larger disc hero, well, this may be the one. From Mr. Talk 007, I'm gonna have to shorten his name because I can't say the real words. Uh, this is going to be <laughs> the Horse Cruiser 12 XL. They're not bad. I just literally can't say it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, you got Trelleborg BKT wheels on here. You can't change them up. This is a massive cultivator. It is only 12 meters, but it requires 500 horsepower. This came as a DLC pack in Farming Simulator 17, I believe. And in 19, it actually came as a free DLC download, which was super cool. I think maybe it was part of the base game. Regardless, it's here now. So if you've been looking for it, if you've been waiting on it, it's here. One thing, it's 12 slots. A little bit high on the slot counter. So just be ready. Have you been looking for an older fertilizer spreader? Well, if you have, I think we've got one from you. From All Street and Slycliff, we've got the Lizard N012, if I remember correctly. This was in Farming Simulator 19 as well. So if it looks familiar to you, that looks familiar to me as well. You have a 251 liter and 330 liter capacity on here. Small fields, small fields. It has a 10 meter spread at six miles an hour, so it's not gonna come out as fast, but it's still gonna come out pretty quickly. 125 kilograms, and it's only two slots because they're on consoles, which is cool. We do have a couple different designs. You can change up a few things if you want to. We've also got a trailer hitch that you could put on there. That's nice to see. And then we could change up the color. We don't have every color under the sun, but we've got enough that I think it's gonna match whatever you're looking for. This is a very, very neat mod and I'm really digging the detail. Next is a pretty neat mod. This is the Lizard Adapter 5R. This is from Bgamer003. I believe they released the same mod in Farming Simulator 19 as well. Super useful. So why would you need this? If you're using a front loader and you wanna move some machines, maybe you wanna use some machines, this takes your front loader and turns it into a three-point hitch with a PTO and your hydraulics, which is kind of neat. Plus you've got all the colors. So if you've got a John Deere and you want to put a John Deere mower on the front for some reason or a cedar or do whatever you want, you can do it. There's a lot of really cool things. Not everyone's going to need this, but 
I think if you can look at it and maybe download it and play with it a little bit, you may start to get the gears turning a little bit. And I think this is gonna be a super popular mod. Actually, I know this is gonna be super popular. Go check it out. Here's a mod that I think was a little bit misunderstood in Farming Simulator 19, but I want to try and explain it, maybe make it a little bit easier for you guys. This is the fertilizer spreader from Slush's Mining, the Lizard Cal 3 m or Calcium, as uh, it also does lime as well. So it holds 1400 liters of solid fertilizer or lime. It weighs 302 kilograms, doesn't really matter on this one. Eight mile per hour max speed, and it has a working width of three meters. Yes, it drops the fertilizer and lime out the bottom, and it's got a three meter working width. Well, uh, you could customize it kind of however you want to. You got some stuff here. We'll just take a look at John Deere color. So we've got the main color. We got the rim color on there as well. You can even change up your design color, which is going to be the flap at the time. I'm we'll just going to go with yellow. So let's pretend we're using this on a John Deere tractor. This is going to give us a really small working width of, you know, fertilizer or lime out the back. You could also use this with four wheelers, ATVs, things like that. I think it's kind of neat. And you definitely check it out if you're doing some smaller stuff like that. Uh, I know a three meter fertilizer spreader is a little bit small, but I think if you try, You'll find a use for it. I think that's about half of the new mods so far. Let's keep going. The Elho JM2 Round Bell Fork from Famari 99. This is going to hold, well, one round bell. You might be able to get two on here if you really want to, but you're going to have to do some magic. One is probably going to be all you need. Uh, two uh, slots, three point hitch, four, uh, I don't know, four. <laughs> You can also use this for the front loader if you want to. I made a fool out of myself. Let's move on. Next up, we've got a big one for you guys. This is the modular BGA system from Caster Mining or DS Agrar Service. We've talked quite a bit about this in Farming Simulator News or Farms and News or FS News, whatever you want to call it. It's all mine. This allows you to build, yes, custom build your own BGA. So you don't have to just manage or worry about what you got these are all individual pieces and they all do all kinds of cool stuff so let's check it out my dude let's go into production we're in factories and we're looking at this brand right here lizard energy you can see at the bottom right so we've got the bunker small bunker middle bunker with bio grinder uh yes that's going to be able to put sugar beets like whole sugar beets in there and uh and it'll pop out it'll basically grind them up for you then we've got bunker big bunker with the big grinder on there uh we have the fermenter so this is going to take all of the stuff that you normally would put in and it will help turn that into energy then we've got some regular fermenter so we've got a 100 150 200 300 we've got large post fermenters these are going to be for doing digestate only so heads up there digestate in and then you get power out uh, again, I will reiterate, this lets you do just about whatever you want. You can do uh, slurry in, and then you've got all kinds of different stuff that you can do there as well. You've got citra liquid manure storage. So uh, you can do storage for liquid manure, storage for digestate, generators. We've got two different ones of those, and we have a methane tank as well, which will store methane. Uh, there's... There's so much to this, and I will probably need to make like a 30-minute video just showing this off. I will do my best to get something like that together. Uh, otherwise, you may want to hang out and wait until Virtual Farmer or Driver 53 or Farmer Cop, one of those guys, does something. Um, I, if they get to it before I do, I'll definitely make sure I share it. Nonetheless, check it out. Modular BGA system caster. It's here. Next up, we've got the old farm pack, and I'm going to have to show you the houses like back and forth because there's two of them that come with this. We'll start with the shed that comes with this. Does match both the houses, so that is nice. And these were even out in Farming Simulator 19 in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I remember this house very, very vividly, but... I don't, I don't remember what was kind of going on with it. Regardless, here you go. It's, I mean, it's here now. So that's good to have. Uh, so this says that it's got a place for you to store like medium machinery or large machinery, something like that. It almost looks like this is a place for cattle, but it's just saying farmhouse. So I don't know. No, no, no cows there. Let's go in. Let's delete it. So let's sell that. Okie dokie. 
and let's go into farmhouses and let's find our second one that comes with this as well so this is going to be the second farmhouse little bit uh, a <laughs> little bit more beefy but it's not too bad nothing too crazy here of course we can go up get you sleep on do what you need to do uh this one that doesn't open so it looks like perhaps the other one was the only one that opened. This does look like it's supposed to have cattle in here as well, but you can't even get in this one. So just, uh, just get the other one. <laughs> it's got a place to store stuff. I like it. Next, we have the Universal Porch Roof. This is a set of five porch roofs to protect uh, anything that you want to put under it, around it. You can actually build your own roof system in buildings with these. We've got four different sizes right here, as you can see. They all kind of start-ish around the same place, but they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we have one version that's an awning right here that's just chilling in midair. <laughs> How do you get to these? Well, these are going to be found in buildings and in sheds. You can see we can find them all right here. Let's find something that needs an awning to it. Maybe something a little bit bigger. This will be perfect. So let's take this shed, for example, and then let's get ourselves a nice large awning right here now of course you have to place these down it takes a hot minute to get it done but you can get in here kind of put it ish like right there and now it almost <laughs> looks like it was supposed to be there the whole time so you could kind of custom create your own creations without having to actually create anything i like it next we've got a really 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 cool pack there's a bunch of it too. This is the French Farm Buildings Pack from Omatana. What up, Omatana? We've got three houses that come with the pack. You could use these as houses or as decoration. So that's how I've gotten all three of them on here. We've also got a little multi fruit buying station right here and a multi fruit silo. I love the look of this silo. I think these buildings would look absolutely incredible on the old stream farm. And then we've got a couple different sheds as well. These are all pull straight through sheds, so it makes them nice and easy. There you go. How's about that? Not too bad, man. Not too bad. I'm loving this pack. Super high detail. I and mean, look at the stone. Yes, sir. Yo, is that is that using... I think it's using a parallax occlusion mapping. And if it's not, you, yeah, it's definitely using parallax occlusion mapping. I, you can kind of see it when you get rule up close, it looks like it's stretched. That's your parallax occlusion mapping. Nonetheless, hey, it's working. Hey, I love it. I'm a Tana. Here's one that I'm extremely excited to see. This is the industrial bakery. Of course, it puts flour and outputs bread. You can do uh, also making cake as well. This is is very special because this building produces bread and cake five times faster than the standard bakery. Five times faster. <laughs> I love it. Let's take a look at it inside. So you can see right here, uh, we've got all of our fill levels and things like that. As a matter of fact, let's go over here. Actually, I want to fall to the ground. There we go. Let's go over here and let's activate that i don't think i've got the let me buy stuff mod turned on which kind of stinks so i can't buy all of the actually no i can yeah 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 buy flower sure oh how much of that am i gonna have to buy oh, let's find out all right so it holds sixty-five thousand liters of everything so not too bad now here's the thing sixty-five thousand liters there up here in this factory oh i gotta do this again don't i Give me a second. Okay, so the one base game will do uh, 64,000 anyway. Bread, flour, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that's good, good stuff. So from here we could see 10,800 cycles per month, whereas this one does 2,160. I don't know why I did all that, but you guys get what I'm saying there. So that's pretty sweet. This will hold the same, but it does it five times faster. So you may wanna fill this up with flour very quickly next we've got the fence and gate cme001 so the price for the gate is going to be 900 bucks and the price for the fence is going to be 100 bucks per section i think uh upkeep on the gates three and upkeep on the fence is one you can find these over in decorations and in fences go all the way to the very end and you'll find exactly what you're looking for right here so there is your fence of course i have it set to not charge me so i'm cheating definitely but you know run your fences do what you need to do oh boy 
<laughs> Something threw up a bunch of hairs, didn't it? All right, let's move on. From top ace 888, we have the placeable snowman on here. Yes, we do. So these are going to be placeable snowman for decoration purposes, made uh, deceptively real plastic and therefore can be placed all year round. There you go. Uh, all year round snowman. It's just me or like the, they look like they're doing some like stereotypical like Italian TV show sayings or like something Peter Griffin would do. I don't know, the way they're holding their sticks, it's, well, how about we move on? <laughs> Three more new ones to go. This is going to be the carport from Top our, uh, Tug Grim. This is carport used for cars, forklifts, etc. 2500 bucks. Uh, since there's a lot of carports from two other mods that look exactly the same, actually one of them is exactly the same, you're probably going to want to know well, which one's this one? It's actually the cheap one. Uh, they bought them out. They they did a good job. Twenty five hundred bucks. Uh, but yeah, it's literally the exact same one as the small carport in the carports pack. And then there's another carport that's in another pack. It's man, it's confusing. But there you go. Nonetheless, there's your carports. Your next to last new one for all platforms is from good friend of the channel, Days. The concrete block to divide up your sheds or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, it does have a collision to stop your crops. So if you put something up against it, or maybe you build a wall similar to this, don't put cracks in between, but if you build a wall or something like that, nothing's gonna go through it, which is pretty nice. If you guys wanna find this, go into uh, decorations, go into others, and you will find it right here. You just simply place them in, do, 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 just like so. Place as many of them as you want. And your last new mod for all platforms, finally, the Stone Selling Station. They say, are you tired of driving across the map to empty your stone picker? Well, this mod is a small selling station you can place on your farm, selling your stones near your fields to get back to work from Dogface. Tear it up, baby. Yeah, this can be found over in buildings. You go to, or not buildings, production, selling points, and it's right here. How's about an update for all platforms? Let's move into them. No Man's Land's got an update today from Alien Gem. First off, off the bat, no new game save is required. Keep playing like normal. Your changelog is version 1.2. Combine both sell points into one at the shop. They've also added stones to the farm shop sell point, added a placeable grain selling point, production selling point, bell selling point. They do say that the vehicle shop now has a low polygon collision for optimized performance, and the old burn ruin placeable now has a low polygon collision for optimized performance, and removed the duplicate textures. Your next update for all platforms days could be the Deutz Far Series 7 TTV Series 8 TTV version 1.001 hotfix. They say this applied patch 1.2 changes and fixed the fault with the wrong indoor HUD on patch 1.2. As about an update to the new Holland BR60 90 and i totally didn't just yawn right there well we've got a new case round baler yes sir this is going to make i don't know what kind of bells this makes 125 centimeter only so nothing too crazy um and they've changed the description version but nothing too wild uh, this requires 45 horsepower not bad at all and nine miles per hour so i think that's identical yeah identical so there you go we even have an update to the jcb 325t today from landem this is going to be version 1.0.1 adjusted the indoor camera and corrected the color from the palette fork so belt fork bro, palette fork there you go all right we've also got an update to one of my favorite mods of all time the case ih7200 series from matt 26 this is going to be version 1.1 added fuel it was missing fuel to begin with. Also added mirror configuration, beacon light configs, and added front loaders. So let's take a look at those mirror configurations, see if we can find some of those. So we've got a couple different ones looking like a dog ears. Nice puppy dog ears. I like that one. We also have beacon light. So none. We do on the left, right, both of them. Front left, front right, both of them or none. And then lastly, they've added some front loader options. So let's see if we can find where it has front loader. Hmm, mirrors, beacon, front loader attachment. Haha, -ha. so quickie, power, and nothing. So we don't have this stole on here if you wanted it. The Fleego DPW pack has an update from MeFuFS. This is update 1.001, fix the center of mass. What if I were to tell you 
that this is the last update for all platforms today. Crazy, <laughs> took a long time to get here, over an hour. This is the Stone Crushing Lime production from Flash Day 94 version 1.1. Added new requirement of 1200 liters of water to make the lime. Added storage capacity for water. Increased the requirement of stone from 1000 to 2000. Boo. Increased the output of lime to 4500. AO. Reduced the storage capacity for stone uh, to 1000 or 150,000. Boo. Reduced storage for capacity for lime down to 100,000. They've also increased the overall price, $25,000, improved the placement of the object, and added animations for the effects for the unloading auger tray. So there you go, better than ever, check it out. Making our way into new mods for PC players today is gonna be the CSZ, uh, well, it says Cage, which is all that's in here, at least for right now, but this is the Implements Pack additional feature. So it said that the Cage was moved to a separate mod for PC players. And it has been. So this holds big bags, tanks, but it also does net wrap and twine. If you guys downloaded the net wrap and twine options that we had yesterday, well, you've got those. And you can even select what brands are going to be shown in there. So that's pretty cool indeed. Unfortunately, I don't see anything changing, but I would say you probably need to load it in. Yeah, yeah, you need to load it in. Another mod from Agrar Design Austria, we have the Kirschner T6000. Now this is going to be doing slurry and digestate. Um, and it looks like it is a spreader, which is pretty sweet. 6,000 liter capacity, 3.3 tons, 45 horsepower, and nine miles per hour, or nine meters, sorry, 11 miles per hour. Trailer Bork, BKTU tires, back and forth between both those. They are what they are, no customization. Deco hoses, um, yep, sure. Whoa, there's a, there's a bunch of different hoses that you can throw on there. Nice. Designs, we've got coupling left, uh, standard, coupling right, both or neither, whatever you want to do through there. They don't do anything, at least not as of yet anyway. Sprayer type, we've got the baffle. We've got the high pressure, which is pretty nice, but it looks like that's also still going to be uh, normal, so nothing too crazy there. Main color galvanized or chrome and then we have a couple different reds for the design we get a new telehandler bucket for pc players this is the brt shovel from fred modding this is going to hold 1000 liters only uh, and you can add with counter blade or without counter blade your next new mod for pc and mac players today will be the field cultivator from kr softwares aka ls mod company this mod lets you know how much seed or fertilizer that you're going to need for a field you can find out here it's going to be in your menu the overview is integrated into that menu itself in the very last tab at the bottom and to see the seed consumption click on the corresponding line then you can open another window your next to last new one for pc and mac players today is super cool for viper gts 96 it is real dirt color this changes all vehicles and tools dirt color to the surrounding environment they've got 10 color variations including brown dirt brown mud red dirt red mud grass chaff manure slurry lime and snow colors are blended back and forth using a variable speed two modes are available via the xml settings simple mode and independent wheel mode tweakable color change speed etc they've also included the readme text for modding options so you guys know what's going on there and they say that this has been completely revised farming simulator 22 and your last mod today this is going to be a new one for pc and mac players the adjust working speed this was a mod that was in farming simulator 19 as well it's from modding well they do a really really good job with everything that they do Basically, with this script, uh, you could change the working speed of attachments. You can adjust them in the store. The range is up to 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles per hour more or less in one kilometer or 0.62 mile per hour increments starting with the default value. So if something, for example, has a 10 mile per hour working speed, well, you can increase that up to 16. This is for you guys that don't want to use the real speed limit mod. If you guys want to use this or something else versus going way, way, way super fast, maybe you just want to speed it up a couple, couple mile per hour or kilometers, this. This is going to be the one that you want. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. Man, oh man, did that take forever. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Uh, also, if you made it this far into the video, let me know down in the comment section. Be like, yo, DJ, I made it to the end. It was long and a little bit boring, but, but I made it. <laughs> I'm right there with you, fam. <laughs> All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.